Oh my god, we have the ultimate comparison. Nobody knew they needed it, but they do. We got the Fuji X-T3 versus the GoPro. Could it? Could it be happening right now? Are we even ready for this? I'm not. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we got the little Fuji that could, the 10 mil, 10 to 24, versus the GoPro. This is so awkward. What's wider? I don't even know. The GoPro is like 15 meters away from me on a selfie stick. This is on the gimbal. It hurts. Oh, it hurts the arm. I see the GoPro advantage. I see it. I got a secret device. It's a flippy screen life hack. I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's top secret information. Oh, that's struggling. Oh, you are struggling. Oh, the fires of my arms. Does the GoPro handle the low light somehow? Because if it can, are the kids joy bringing joy to your heart? It didn't bring joy. Is the GoPro as stable as the Fuji with the gimbal? Because that's embarrassing, Fuji. Come on. Come on, Weeble. Can't even carry a camera. Not be a laughing stock of the town. I gotta be honest with you, people keep saying, there it is. There's the perfect camera, the Fuji with the gimbal. We found it. Search is over. Call the authorities. This is heavy as shit. It's so heavy. I can barely, why? I thought it was strong. Where's that little bad boy? Look at you. Look at you. You're so easy. I could hold you all day long in my arms, just cuddling for dinner. I cuddle at dinner, don't you? Please save me from this GoPro. I've never seen the GoPro at night. People say you shouldn't vlog at night. It's dangerous. Teenagers out They're trick or treating, even on Christmas. You can't stop a teenager from asking you for candy. Just can't be done. Oh, you're a little tight. You're a little tight. Technically, if you bring it in like this, it's not so heavy anymore. Is it flattering though? I gotta tell you though, I'm so impressed with this little GoPro. Even though I still can't get the colors to look right, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. I think I do, and then I'm coloring it, and I'm like, yeah, not bad. And then I watch it, and I'm like, oh, oh, God, I was so wrong. How do I not see the red overcast and everything? I don't get it. I don't get it. But I'm so far thrilled. Oh, my God, why didn't you warn me? <laughs> I almost die every minute of every day. So Henry's is asking for the Fuji back. I don't think I can do it. I don't want to give it back. I don't want to. It's so beautiful. Honestly, I would replace everything I own with a Fuji if I could. What are you looking at? How are you doing, GoPro? I should be walking. Oh, that's easy. You know, vlogging is a super sport. People don't realize, but I deserve at least a bronze. At least a bronze for this. Get me on that podium for the Cracker sponsorship. I need the money. Once I find a solution for audio for the GoPro, if that media mod's fantastic, look out, look out. Why bother with anything else? Not even a point blurring the background. Come on now. Can we even blur the background? Are you tilting? Weeble, how could you? How could you? I gave you a positive review. For any super nerds still with me, I'm thinking of switching over to DaVinci Resolve to edit from Premiere Pro and I gotta tell you there's just one stumbling block that I can't understand. Editing the audio in Fairlight. Come here, come here Fuji, help me with this. In Audition, when I edit the audio, what are you doing? What was that? What were you even think? Did you just nod your head no? It did. Oh my god, you nodded your- you said stay with Premiere forever. Okay. So in Premiere Pro, I bring the file into Audition, and I like to compress the file so there's no super loud jumps and then quiet mumbling. I like to even out the audio levels, and I can see it represented visually. If I have a spike, I can see the spike, I can clip it off, and then I know I'm not peeking. Then I raise everything up to like minus 2 dB, 
and then we're good to go. I can see visually that nothing's clipping. Whereas in Da Vinci, I don't get this shit. What the heck? So in Da Vinci, in Fairlight, I bring the audio in there. And I'm making changes, but the waveform doesn't change with it. <laughs> she got it. She edits in Avid Pro. So I'm looking at the audio file and I'm thinking I saw a couple spikes and I want to chop them off because I know it's just handling noise. So I want to cut it and then bring everything back up. I can't see a way to do it. Other than going in and making keyframes and lowering each bit, which also lowers my voice in that part. Yeah. But Fairlight has this compression and limiter tool and they do the job. They do what I think they should be doing don't spike too hard and even out the audio but you can't see it happening in the waveform why who is this guy he's singing oh why are you ruining my life why <laughs> so somebody tell me how to do it how do I compress and limit and see it in the waveform? This is bullshit. What's up? YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, yeah nice, man. Do you want to be in it? Yo, yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's camera conspiracies. Oh, yeah. I'm going to yeah. check it out, man. Okay, cool. Have Thanks. Yeah, you too. <laughs> so, yeah, somebody tell me how to do it because I'm losing my mind. That's the only thing. I've figured out a bunch of stuff. I can edit in the program. But that thing will ruin my life. I need perfect audio. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't realize how heavy this would be. Oh, why? Did I get weaker over the past couple of weeks or is that just heavy? Oh my God, the GH5S seemed lighter. Oh, my life's a lie. All right, we're done. Would you like better the GoPro or the Fuji outside? Let me know. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.